you have a vision and you have a story. This is my lifeline. So tell us okay. your, your why and story. It all started with my son, his second deployment in Afghanistan. There was a collision. We lost four Marine that night. I'm not one to sit down with grief and, and wallow away. The nights that you think you can't go any further, just remember why you're doing this. We are trying to build a community. to create a family among our veterans and their spouses and children. We're here for everybody. This is the culmination of a lot of hard work. I grabbed my husband's hand and I said, we will continue his mission. So I think that's really what it is. It's about learning, but leading and creating that camaraderie, creating that leadership. What is your why? What keeps you going? I had a hard transition coming back home and I just lost myself and forgot there are other people that are going through the same things. We have up to 16 to 18 million veterans. Every year 200,000 active duty transition and we have a race against time. Because there's like a two and a half year window before people lose their well-being up, up, and lose their hope. Everything is really based on love in this world. I got involved with Heroes in Transition when my brother came back from the military. They saved my brother's life. Through Heroes in Transition, I've been able to meet a bunch of new friends and family that are close to me. But when they're in combat, when they're deployed, it is their person next to them as their brother and sister. So when they come home, they come home without that. The level of communication that we have now is all because of heroes. When we listen to those veterans, active service members, spouses, families, we know that we're on the right path because we are changing and saving lives. Strong finish. Yeah.